Welcome back! If the town of Bloxburg needs one thing, it's probably public transit, because for some reason it doesn't have any. The town really prioritized building a ferris wheel and an observatory before any type of mass transit, so today I want to build a small train station. And I don't know, maybe even a train if we're lucky. So for the first time in the history of this channel, I don't have any plan on how I want to do this train station. I have one image that kind of like inspired me to do this build. So this is the picture. I thought that this is kind of cute and I want to do something similar. On <laughs> the, the picture is not even of a train station, I have to improvise that as well. But, but yeah, this is all I'm going off of. These steps look a little steep. I mean, technically they should be fine. I think I will lower them a bit. This looks like an okay start. I want to add in a ramp as well. So this build will be very like <laughs> terrain heavy. And honestly, that's very, that's not great. That's pretty bad actually, because terrain is probably the most tedious thing you can do on camera. <laughs> not even on camera. It's like the most tedious thing you can do, period. Talking about tedious. Yeah, I feel like this build will take way longer than I, <laughs> than I wanted to. It's probably not great that I already hate everything I'm doing. It just dawned on me how expensive this whole thing will be. It's not a good sign that I'm <laughs> that I'm already regretting everything I've set out to do. Something I've noticed with basic shapes is that for some reason they never line up perfectly. Like the <laughs> like this ramp, for example. It's either sticking out over here <laughs> or this thing is sticking out over here. It's like it's, like it's so annoying. But <laughs> but I should probably talk about this train station, you know. So my, so my plan right now is for this path to lead up to the train station and I want to have like a second set of rails right here and then have the platform, you know, where you bought the trains kind of in the middle. So that's so that's why we have the cross crossing right here. Not thinking about it, it's probably it's probably smart to make the platform out of a roof as well. Because in the long term it will be so much cheaper than putting like basic shapes all over the place. And then we can have our second set of rails right here. I don't know how tall I've made these ones, so please tell me I didn't use the small grid when doing this. That's as close as it's gonna get. <laughs> and then for cost saving reasons I'll just have the track end right there. So I really want to add in some trains, or more likely one singular train. But I'm, but I'm not sure which type of train I want to add. We could have like American trains or European ones or, or maybe Japanese ones. I mean Japanese ones would probably fit in the best because like my literal only reference picture is one of a Japanese railroad crossing. So what I thought about doing was to get like one of these slanted roofs and then just cut the middle part out like that. If we do it like this it will get really tall. So that's not that's not great, and we and we will probably have some overlap. I mean, I'll just go see how bad the scaling is. I mean, it lo it doesn't look that bad, but I really don't want to do a custom roof, especially with all this terrain I still have to do. Why do I have to make things so hard on myself? Oh yeah, right. But I didn't talk about what I wanted to do with with this roof. So as you can see, I've left like this pretty big hole in the in the middle of the roof here. We do have these trans transparent beams, and I thought that I could maybe do like a custom glass ceiling with these. I mean, I have no I I have no clue if this is going to look good and also this will be very tedious to do and also these will never line up properly i guess what we could do is using like the transparent wedges to do this well that's way easier than using the transparent structurals it looks really nice from up top and if we do something like this you also you also won't notice the gap and with that we're straight into the first time lapse of today's episode Right now I'm just coloring, you know, everything we, we did until, until this point, except for the train station. For some reason, I don't know why I left that out. And of course I'm also doing some basic landscaping around uh, around the path. I've also used some uh, custom custom bushes, just because honestly they add so much to a, to a build, even though they are really expensive. And then finally I've also started working on the railway crossing itself. I've stuck pretty close to the original like inspiration I used, so it's very Japanese style. At, at the moment it's just a sign and some, uh, and some lights, which were pretty hard to kind of attach to the pole. So there's no physical barrier as of yet, so maybe we'll get to that when I actually start building the, uh, the actual train. Okay, so I have to admit that that last recording you saw is actually from like a week ago. But trust me, I actually have a reason this time. And with that I just mean that the reason is something different than, than just me procrastinating. But well, I've been sick over the em entire past weeks. You know, that's like a that's like a reasonable reason not to record. Uh, but yeah, well, well, I've also figured out a problem with how I planned all of this. 
Because if you remember, I didn't actually plan out any of this. And well, I'm starting to kind of regret that. Because I really don't know what I should put, put onto the platform, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, okay, maybe like a clock or something and some benches. But that seems like really simplified and boring. But, but well, you know, I also don't want to make like a custom transit map or something. Or put like a building onto this. Because, well, that is something I, I thought about. I thought maybe, you know, doing like a small little building right uh, right here on the platform. So, you know, when it's winter, people can wait in the building. So they don't have to freeze outside. Which, I mean, is a really nice idea. But the issue is that this platform is kind of in between floors. So when I want to so when I want to build like a wall, it's like only the top half. And then I have to go onto the top floor. And then, of course, I can't place any doors or, win or windows right here because of the walls meeting up. The only solution to that would be if I were to use, like, custom shapes. And trust me, as much as I want a building in there, I really don't want to torture myself with doing an entire building out of basic shapes. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just stick to benches or whatever. I mean, we can also just hope that the, tra <laughs> that the train will carry the build in the end. But then I'd have to build, like, a really good train. And trust me, I'm not confident that I'll be able to make, like, even a decent train. But yeah, so in the meantime, I've made like these platform signs. I mean they don't add that much but they are a nice touch at least. And then also I've created these little overhangs for the platform. At least that's something I see when I travel by train. I believe these are so if you fall onto the tracks you can kind of like hide in there in case that a train comes. I mean we could totally add in like uh, a ticket machine. That sounds like a decent idea but I'm not sure if I want to do even more custom stuff considering like the entire train station is custom, <laughs> is custom as well. So I don't know, maybe I'll just start off with putting down some benches. Yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> it, it, looks re it looks really sad though. I feel like I'm struggling in the wrong area. This is pretty much what I expected to be the easiest. But to be honest, I didn't start building the trains. So it can always get worse. I'm pretty sure I shot myself in the foot from the beginning by not including like a real train station building. Okay, so for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, I've, uh, I've started planning out the train. So this is what I have so far. This took 30 minutes. Yeah, it's rough to say the least. Honestly, I just wanted to plan out what I will do on camera later. Because by doing the train station, I figured that improvising everything is probably not the best thing I could do. But, but well, I really don't want to redo all of this on camera. So, so I'll just pick up where I've left off. This is what we have so far. This is the front end. And what I want to do now is just add in the front windscreen. I have to admit that the front end looks kind of bland right now. It's very uninteresting. But yeah, as you can spot by the color scheme, I've ended up using Japanese trains as my main inspiration but it's also just such a nice combination this kind of green and the beige and also by the way I've been smart I've put these train bits onto onto transparent basic shapes so I can copy them easier and that's the outside walls finished to be honest I think it's growing on me a little Maybe like an outline around the windows could help make it look a little more interesting yeah it looks pretty nice well I've been working on the on the roof and I mean from down here it looks it looks pretty good already. From up here it's not that great. It has this kind of ledge right here because of the a curved front, so it doesn't work any other way. So that kind of sucks. But I mean from down here it looks it looks it looks serviceable. I've built worse vehicles in the past. So for me personally this is pretty much a win. And now for the last building part of this episode, I'm doing all the landscaping around the train station. So the first thing I did was raise the train around the train tracks up a bit. So you know the tracks are integrated into the terrain nicely. And then I placed down a ton of plants. <laughs> I think in the end all the terraforming cost like probably close to 300k. And to be fair a lot of that is because of the custom plants I did. I think those mini bushes that I've used a lot were like 3k a piece. And then lastly I also finished up the area in front of the station with a bus stop and some of these bike parking spaces. Welcome to the area that I like to call the thumbnail spot, because it's pretty much the only spot where I really like how this build looks. I just think that the landscaping looks, <laughs> looks really good from here, because if we zoom out it gets pretty bad pretty quickly. I really wanted to do landscaping like this around the entire plot, but honestly I really didn't have the time or the money to, to pull that off. Uh, also by the way, for the <laughs> thumbnail spot to look good I have to step onto this cube. But anyways, here we have the train station. So first of all, over here we have like this, uh, we have this bus stop, and then over here we have these bike racks. I've also added these utility poles, for no particular reason, I just, I don't know, I just like them. And then if we go over these steps, and over this crossing, we already have arrived at the train station. The train station itself is pretty simple, it's, it's pretty much just like a roof. Yeah, that's all I can really say about it, except, except that I made these uh, skylights, especially like with the sun shining through them. It looks so good. That was a really good idea. But otherwise the station is pretty simple. 
It mainly consists of like these benches. Then right here is a map of all the rail lines. I, I just took this off the creator marketplace. I'm 90% sure this map is in Spanish, but oh well. And then this is what I'm the most proud of in this in this entire build, which is the train. Honestly, this station does not do the train justice. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this craft front, <laughs> as long as we don't look too closely at the roof. I think it looks it looks pretty good. And these wheels consist of decals, which is probably not the best looking solution, but the simplest, so that's why I, so that's why I did that. But yeah, that was pretty much the entire build. In hindsight, this project was way too big for a single video, but at least the build looks good from one perspective. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!